Robert from Crit Games, showing you guys some laser etching. These are dungeon tiles, put together a little um, uh, image here, I've been trying it out in different ways. Uh, the first way I was trying to do it was an image transfer, that's basically what this one is right here, where I took the image, uh, put it over the top, uh, and then I'm trying some different stone for laser engraving. So this is a polished marble. Uh, with the polished marble, it doesn't quite show up as well as what I would like. I think I'd have to do like a black wash or something to really pull that back out. Um, but trying different materials, this is like a, a travertine. Again, these are uh, tiles that you could pick up at, um, uh, you know, like a, a, a home refinishing store, you know, redoing your bathroom, that type of thing, or your kitchen. Uh, the same tiles, these are four by four inches. So this is a laser engraved on a uh, tumble travertine. And what the, the laser etching does is just kind of roughens up some of the um, definition that you have here. And then what I'm using, this is a, a Zing laser, it's a 40 watt. And then what I have in there right now, this is a slate piece. And uh, the, because of the dark slate, the contrast where the laser uh, etches out um, makes it look really cool. Let's see if I can't get um, a little better close up on that. So with the dark stones, definitely uh, turns out much better. With the lighter stones, you, you can definitely see it, but um, I might have to go back through it and do like a wash or something on, on this one. Um, anyway, these, these are pretty hefty. You put these down on your table, they're not gonna move anywhere. This is a you know, piece of stone. Um, it's, it's meant, you know, really to put on your wall. So on the back side here, I'm either gonna put a piece of cork or put some feet on it. And then you can make a set of these. Uh, if you have, a, you know, maybe 12 of these, you can lay them down. Um, with the, the ones that do the image transfer, you have to finish this off, do like a um, polyurethane or Mod Podge just to kind of seal over the, the top and the, and the paper that's on there. Um, but yeah, no, I think, I think the, the, the travertine worked out pretty well. This is kind of like a white on white. And then the slate one, which is almost done, I think maybe turned out the best. I really like the the contrast with the, uh, the dark gray stone. You can really see the, um, the tiles as you print them on there. So if your local makerspace has access to uh, laser engraving uh, or laser cutting machines, you can make your own dungeon tiles. There we go. So this is the slate. Yeah, that looks real nice. If you want to see some more kind of do-it-yourself stuff um, for your tabletop game at home, like or subscribe to me on YouTube. You can find us just searching for Crick Games or just go to youtube.crickgames.com. Find us on Twitter, Crick Games LLC, or visit us on our website, crickgames.com, and game on.